If you wanted to see China's contribution to the world economy, the best place to see it used to be the toy department. This is how most of us first saw China's economic growth, made in China on more and more of the things we wanted to buy. But things are changing. Now we're not just seeing its products, we're seeing China's growing wealth. And when I say wealth, this is what they buy. Here at Harrods, there are now special terminals to let Chinese customers pay direct from their home bank accounts. The restaurant menus have been adapted to the Chinese as well. They're worth it. Over the last five years, their sales in this store has multiplied by 20 times. Um, they used to be a fifth of the American spend, now they are five times the American spend. So this is a, this is a co customer cohort we really have to look after well. Harrods aren't the only ones getting new business from the Chinese. 330,000 people visited the UK from China and Hong Kong last year, 17% more than the year before. What they spend here counts in our exports. Only 5% of Britain's exports go to China or Hong Kong now, but sales there have risen 60% in just five years. They're investing here as well. This week, China's main public investment fund bought a 10% stake in the company that owns Heathrow. That Chinese money has been going into a lot of different industries. The telecoms giant Huawei recently announced another billion pound investment in the UK. You've seen Chinese investors buy Weetabix and a chunk of Thames water. I wonder whether the Chinese tourists who come here for their traditional Savile Row suit realize it's now owned by the Chinese as well. Something else the Chinese are buying into, a very British education. All of these women are studying economics at University College London. The number of Chinese students in the UK has doubled in five years. I believe the majority of students will have a good time studying in Britain. And this is good for the British University as well, because if the alumni enjoy their time in British University, when they go back and establish a high reputation for these British universities. So if you see the view from this window, in the north you have Canary Wharf. This is the kind of flat that Chinese parents buy for their kids, or just as an investment but there are strict controls on the money people can take in or out of China. If mainland Chinese were able to take money out of the country freely and wanted to invest in real estate to the extent that they seem to at the moment, we think it could move London prices by as much as 15%. Britain has opened its doors to China in the past 20 years. In the next 20, ministers will be hoping China repays the favour. Stephanie Flanders, BBC News.